AL3D per industry, multi-physics simulations for the nation's future. Hi, my name is Chad Noble, and I am the AL3D per industry software project lead for Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory. AL3D per industry is a new version of our AL3D multi-physics finite element code that we are providing for our industrial and academic partners. AL3D stands for Arbitrary Lagrange Eulerian in Three Dimensions. The software code project has been under development for 30 plus years by a multidisciplinary team of physicists, engineers, and computer scientists. AL3D has been offered to 250 plus government contractors across the United States, and we have offered the physics you see here in one code. Hydrodynamics coupled with a thermal package and structural elements such as beams and shells to perform fluid structure interaction problems, chemistry, diffusion, and multiphase flow, incompressible flow, and turbulence, and magnetohydrodynamics or electromagnetics. Basically, a user has the flexibility of running with pure hydrodynamics or have that coupled with other physics packages you see here. The types of applications our industrial collaborators could use AL3D for industry for are listed here with some example simulations shown on the right. On the top right is an electromagnetic calculation of a conducting cylinder. On the far top right is a spalled copper cylinder with the black showing regions of high porosity. In the middle is a laser simulation with a laser damaging a plate. The laser is impacting the plate and eroding the elements. In the middle right is a thermal conduct convection of liquid which uses chemistry and incompressible flow. The heated liquid is traveling up the sides and back down the middle of the cylinder. On the bottom left is a notched bar tensile test which uses our implicit capability for long time scales. And on the bottom right is a fracture of a plate that has been impacted on the back side. AL3D has had long standing use for industrial applications, two of which are shown here and the code executable is now available for direct use by industry and university collaborators. The two examples of how the code has been used for industry is for these metal forming simulations or forging simulations. The simulation on the left shows a heated material being pressed between a die. The die elements remain Lagrangian and the aluminum as it gets pressed gets pushed and extruded towards the grooves to the left and the right. The material flows through the mesh in an ale or Eulerian sense. On the right is a roller and ingot simulation. The rollers are given an angular velocity and the ingot is grabbed by the roller using friction in the contact algorithms within AL3D. Heat conduction is turned on as is evidenced by the temperature rise in the rollers as the hot ingot makes contact. Simulations such as these can help design and optimize the manufacturing process without expensive trial and error. The trial and error can be all performed in a virtual sense using high performance computing and AL3D for industry. So why AL3D for industry? Well, commercial finite element software has yet to attain all of the multi-physics capabilities and massive parallelism of AL3D for industry. AL3D is scalable out to 100,000 processors. It is a requirement for AL3D to function on some of the biggest supercomputers in the world. This graph shows that we are attaining the same timing as we increase the size and processor count to the simulation. Just as an example, I am working on a simulation that is 760 million zones and runs on 9,200 processors. And due to the long time scale and physics of this problem, I was able to run the calculation for 32 days. With AL3D for industry, industry will have access to not only one of DOE's premier physics codes, but also the ability to run on Livermore Computing's high performance computing platforms. In essence, we will allow industry and academics to use AL3D for industry in our, on our supercomputers so that they can take advantage of a physics code that has been tuned to run on thousands of processors. I want to focus the remainder of the presentation discussing AL3D for industry capabilities. A large effort recently has been developing AL3D to simulate laser-based additive manufacturing on the powder scale. These simulations require complex physics such as laser energy deposition, heat transfer, surface tension, and vapor recoil. These types of simulations helped inform and discover the spattering that occurs with the process as can be seen in this simulation. In addition, these simulations have been used to determine the process parameters needed for the best part properties, such as determining the best or optimal laser power and speed, as well as laser beam shape.
As stated earlier, AL3D for industry is excellent for modeling shock hydrodynamics. On the top left is an example showing a comparison with experiment of a shock impinging on a helium bubble. The top row shows the radiographic images taken at various times. And in the bottom rows shows the AL3D results comparing very well to this, the experimental radiographs above. We also have fully coupled electromagnetics and the simulation on the right uh, is of a crushing slotted coaxial conductor. On the bottom is a simulation using our multi-phase flow package and a shock impinging on a plate. There is also experimental data that compares very well with the simulation for this example. Here we are showing some very unique features of AL3D for industry. On the top left is a simulation of a bullet impacting a plate at an angle. Large deformations in an impact such as this can deform the object severely. In order to keep this simulation running longer with more accuracy, we transition the distorted elements into smooth particle hydrodynamics, which are the particles shown in this simulation. With this method, the calculation runs robustly and mass conservation is ma maintained. The other two calculations show penetration calculations using embedded meshes. The penetrator in each of these simulations is on the foreground mesh, and the material being penetrated uses a separate Eulerian mesh in the background. This makes for a very robust calculation. There are two things that make AL3D completely unique from other codes. One is that the embedded mesh capability we use does not allow any leakage of a background material past the boundary of the foreground material. The second unique capability is our ability to couple smooth particle hydro with another Eulerian mesh in the background. I am not aware of any other code in the world that has this capability. Due to our code being developed for the Department of Energy, we have extremely high standards when it comes to software quality assurance. We use IEEE standards coupled with advanced simulation and computing DOE standards for SQA. We use Git for co code repository and version control. We use Jenkins to automate the building and testing of our software on our supercomputers. We build and test the code nightly with a thousand plus tests to ensure the code does not change answers over time and also remains performant. Due to the fact that this code has been in active development and use for over 30 plus years, we have extensive code verification and validation. Shown here on the bottom left is the set off shock problem in 3D, which is a problem we compare with an analytical solution. The second simulation in the middle is a triple point shock problem, where we verify the shock structure and roll up feature shown here. Notice the way we can weight the elements towards the features of interest here in this problem. On the right is a validation problem called a Taylor impact test. Here we compare the deformation of the rod after it impacted a solid wall to actual experimental results. A unique feature of AL3D is that we are able to run a SPH or smooth particle hydro simulation at the same time with our standard hydro scheme in the same simulation, which allows users to compare the hydro schemes in one simulation. So one can now gain access to AL3D for industry executable on Livermore Computing's high-performance computing platforms. You are getting a massively parallel multi-physics code that is tuned to run on thousands of processors with one agreement. You also get access to an extensive user manual, example problems, training, or one-on-one -on -one consulting, depending on your needs, and access to our helpline support. Due to AL3D already being provided to over 250 government contractors across the United States, we have an established helpline and week-long training courses that we can provide. For more information, please feel free to send an email to our helpline email, l 3 d 4 i help at llnl.gov, and stay tuned for our external website, l 3 d 4 i llnlgovernor The L3D team and Lawrence Livermore look forward to our future collaborations with industry and academia.